Hey there guys, it's Lee here. Welcome to iMind Blocks. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to use the Mad Max Cheer Plotter for Windows. Okay, so there's been a new development. It's happened roughly um, in about the last week, so I'm quite excited to share this with you. Essentially, there is a new CPU plotter available for Cheer Plotting, and it is significantly faster over the built-in GUI plotter um, that you would have been previously using for your Cheer Plots. Uh, for me personally, I've noticed about 120% improvement in my plotting time. Using the cheer plot originally in uh, parallel mode, um, it would take about four and a half hours to start the initial one. And then from that point onwards, it was about 90 to 95 minutes for each additional plot there afterwards in parallel mode. Using the new Mad Max plotter for Windows, that time has been significantly reduced. And now my plotting is taking only 40 minutes per plot. So this is not even with the best um, hardware available. I've, I've heard all sorts of crazy reports of people doing their plots in like 25 minutes and stuff. So I think using this plotter, you're gonna see significant improvements um, no matter what your hardware is. Okay, so let's jump into it and I'll show you how to get started with the Mad Max Cheer Plotter for Windows. So open up your browser. The Mad Max Cheer Plotter is available for Linux, but there is a distribution available. Basically it's been, um, forked and uh, made into like a Windows binary. It's uh, effectively the same one. So the miner that we're going to be using is this Mad Max Cheer Plotter for Windows and it's by, uh, where's the name? Stotix, I think is the, the name. So you want to, I'll provide a link in the video description, download this and save it to your desktop. You have a file that looks just like this, then you want to extract it to your desktop again. Pretty uh, obvious at that point. In the folder itself, you'll see a couple of files as well as one additional one that I've made, uh, sorry, two additional ones that I've made there. Uh, so you've got this createplots.command line and this is gonna be kind of like your starting batch file um, to get the miner started. And it looks a little something like this. Uh, the, this one I've actually also edited as well. So I'll talk through and um, explain exactly what the commands are and um, how to get set up with them. So not too complicated. I know it might look a little bit complicated at first, but it's really not. Okay, so the first part is the call to the, the plotter itself. Then we've got this dash T, so that's your first flag. And then this first part here is your first temporary directory. So this new plotter, it supports two temporary directories. In this case, I'm only using a single temporary directory for sort of temporary one and temporary two. What they talk about, um, or the, um, the creator talks about, is using a very high speed RAM drive for your second uh, temporary directory. Um, most people probably are not gonna have that. So basically you need 128 gigs of RAM to make a RAM drive, and then you can use that as your secondary temporary directory. Um, I don't have that, and I guess probably a lot of you guys um, are not gonna have that as well. So for me personally, I'm just using this N drive and it's Mad Max. So this is my Intel um, Enterprise drive. It's a new um, NVMe SSD. Um, I got that to replace my um, PMY drive that packed up um, about two weeks ago. Um, I'll put a picture on it just now so you can kind of see what I'm using and the performance that I'm getting uh, with it. So this is your temporary drive or your temporary drives if you had more than one. Next up, we have your plotting location. So this is where you're gonna plots are gonna be uh, written. So you can see I've got D here. Um, actually, I'm just gonna update that because uh, I'll show you how to, once it's running. So we're currently using write into plot, uh, sorry, drive O and the folder is cheer plots. Um, just to show you as well, the uh, temporary drive that I'm using is this here, Intel P4510 NVMe. And I've just got two folders in there, it doesn't really matter, I, just because I was using two at the same time. So just create a temporary directory in there, I've just got Mad Max. Okay, so the next part is R. So this is how many CPU cores you're going to be using. Um, I have a Ryzen 9 3900X. Um, so I'm going to be using 12 cores. Um, I've also tested it on my i5. Um, and I did get an import performance improvement, but not quite as much. Um, there's no RAM settings that you need to uh, worry about. It's all basically uh, based on your number of CPU cores. So just try with your maximum number of CPU cores and see how you get along. Um, it doesn't seem to use, I can't remember from, 
I think it only used about six gigs of RAM, something like that, even with 12 CPU cores. So not too RAM intensive either. The next option is this dash N option. So this is how many uh, plots that you want to write. So you can just do one plot, or you could do 10 plots, or you could do minus one, which is basically keep writing until we say stop. So that's what I've been using a lot. The next part is your, um, your cheer keys, uh, your, your public key and your farmer key. So I'll show you how to get those uh, now. So public pull key. So if we open up a, uh, let's close that, I'll just show you how to do it. So it's Windows and R and then CMD to open up a new command window. Then if you go to your, um, let me open this full size. So this is kind of an easy way to do it. But if you go to your local drive, then users, your username, app data, local, Chia blockchain, and then the, the version of Chia that you're using, resources, and then app.sr unpack, and then daemon, and then select, don't double click, but just select the Chia exe. If you drag that across to your command window, and then you want to type keys show and press enter, it'll give you your public keys for your Chia wallet. So you need the the public pool key, is that right? Uh, sorry. Yeah, the public pool key and the farm key. So you just copy those. I've just put them in like a notepad like this, uh, or not like that, like this. So you got your, your keys like that, and it's just a bit easier to see. So then what you want to do is copy the public pool key into your command line here, followed by the farmer public key here. And that's it. So you can now save that. And close all your other windows because there's quite a lot going on. Probably should have closed it as we was going. Uh, save that, close it. So open up your folder again, sorry. And then now we've got this quote plot, so I'll just show you one more time. That all looks good. And then you just want to run that. Um, and this is what it looks like running. So it'll give you the final directory, number of plots infinite, start in one of infinite, number of threads is 12, number of buckets 256, your public key, your public pool key, and your public uh, farmer key, and the working directory for you, both your temporary one and also your temporary two. And then you basically you just let it run. Um, and for me, it's creating plots um, every 40 minutes. So um, I'm really pleased with the performance. You can see here the times that I've got. So if we just start here, for example, 6 o'clock, 6.40, 7.20, 8 o'clock. So yeah, literally every 40 minutes I'm getting a new uh, K32 plot. So really pleased with the performance. And um, like I say, compared to the previous uh, Chaya GUI, it would take uh, five hours approximately to kind of get it up and running, four to five hours. And then from that point onwards, then it would bang them out kind of like every 90 to 95 minutes. If I tried to reduce the... Um, the plotting time, um, then it would kind of all just get jammed up and I'd end up with just a big mess and um, it would not work great. So then you just leave this running and um, it'll report, it'll give you some information um, as you proceed onwards, but essentially it just works and it works uh, really well. Okay guys, so that's it. I just wanted to kind of make it fairly quick and I was kind of like skimmed through it. Um, if you have any difficulties, uh, drop a, um, a comment in the, the area below and I'll be sure to get back to you guys. Um, I'll put all the links in the description, everything that you need. And hopefully this is um, helpful for you. Okay, guys, thank you so much for watching. Really do appreciate it. Thanks for your support. I'll see you guys on the next one. See ya.